Welcome back to Alma, Missouri for episode 21 with me, Mr. Sealy P. We are into July here on Alma, Missouri. I have got a parsnip contract. I haven't had one of those yet. We've done carrots, we've done sugar beet, we've done potatoes, haven't done parsnip. So I have leased a parsnip header to go with our beastie root crop harvester. Uh, I've got a few jobs to do today. I have been, I've, I've made some changes because things are getting unwieldy and I'm also aware there's um, an ever-growing consensus that people don't just want to see pallet delivery and I understand that. Um, so what I've done is everything that can be distributed is being distributed and now everything that can be sold that every, the, every day that I'm loading up my trailer and taking I'm selling directly. So I'm losing a bit of money, 20% on normal economy, about that. Um, but it means I haven't got to spend ages and ages because the more productions I've got, the more I've got to move around and it gets a little bit more unwieldy. Now, I haven't done today's methane, um, but as you can see, the money's gone up. So we've done all right with our daily selling of things. I have to keep an eye on the productions and keep juggling things and moving things around, making sure things are distributed to the right places. Um, because every now and again things run out and you know you just have to make sure you're on you're Johnny on the spot and you're on top of stuff the only thing I haven't changed and put selling directly at the moment is pizza I'm leaving the pizza as it is but I have also made a decision I'm selling this um, I read a few comments about it and I wasn't overly bothered but the more I've used it the more the sound of it is starting to grate on me um, which, you know, short term, it didn't bother me. But the more and more I'm using it, the more it's grating on me. I'm going to buy something else, but I don't know whether or not... Um, I don't know if the engine's going to be any better. I haven't actually tried it. And um, the garage here has got another... It's an older, it's an older vehicle. It's an old international. Um, and it's kind of what these guys have here. They've got, you know, trucks and lorries and things from the, the local area. They get them into the garage, they do them up. They'll either buy them, flip them, sell them on, or they'll buy them, do them up, keep them as shop trucks and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do first. Um, what am I getting for that? 44,927. That's actually not too bad. So what I'm going to do now is get the international. Um, I don't know what the horsepower is more or less. I don't know. Um, I'm going to need to go back to the farm. Because my grain mill is down to its last 4,000 litres, just the last 4,000 litres of wheat, and it's run out of sorghum. Um, I have still got 50,000 litres of wheat, 50,000 litres of sorghum, or just over, thereabouts, at the farm in the silo. So I'm going to get my lorry trailer and do 37,000 litres of each. 37? Wherever it works out. Um, and bring that up and put it into the grain mill. What else am I going to do? Parsnip harvest, I'll go and make a start on that. Oh, swathing. That's what I was going to do. I'm going to swath my alfalfa. Um, I have been moving the various different things, the biogas plant. The 500,000 litres I had in there is down to 300,000. So I've taken another 200,000 out of my second silage clamp. That's down to its last 300,000 litres out of 600. So we're, we're getting low on silage. So yeah, despite how people feel about it, it's what I've got I'm accessible. Um, I suppose with the money I've got, we could look at grass fields. How much is that grass field? Whoa, 300? Oh, that's all of that, isn't it? Oh, it's that entire plot. Oh, I was hoping to just pick up a grass field. Um, these grass fields here. No, they're not, are they? Oh, that's really annoying. Because, um... I mean, that there, that's part of the farm here, which is owned by um, Missouri sort of state, local town sort of thing. I um, wonder if I could get access to that. So I could mow that and we could put some into one silo, some into another. Just oh, that's a lot more money than I thought it was going to be. I thought I could just pick up that one and... Would be done with it. Now we have got coming up. Try and look at the colours. 
Uh, is that parsnip and parsnip? That looks like it's parsnip as well. And that's sugar beet, isn't it? I think so. Um, so when that one comes up, these are ready to harvest. Well, that one is. That one's not yet, but will be in probably August. I'm waiting for that one. Um, and I can get some parsnip snoop on. Sn parsnip snoop? Snoop? Um, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? And then what have we got in this one here? Whoa. That's going to be a biggie as well. I have also got a contract here for canola, so I've got a lot to be getting on with today. Um, so let me get the lorry. I'll get the wheat and uh, sorghum bought back up. Actually, I'm just thinking, should I get the um, parsnip harvest underway? I'm going to leave my lorry up here, actually, anyway, aren't I? Yep, yeah, we'll do the lorry first. Nope, I need... Probably end up being exactly the same sound, isn't it? <laughs> that would be ironic if it is. Oh, we could end up, depending on what options I have in it. Oh, it goes up to 850 horsepower. Oh, that's good. That'll give us plenty of oomph. Let's go and take a look. We sold another one for 44 and a bit. That was 55. But I've gone for the big engine. A couple of little changes here and there. Big old bumper and stuff. Well, we'll see. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. Oh, shake break off. I went for oh, no. The flappers aren't flapping. What? What was the point of getting flappers if they're not going to do their job? I was looking forward to a little bit of flappage. Yeah, that's definitely not as um, not as obnoxious as the previous one. Anyway, I'm going to go and get the trailer. I'm going to get the wheat, get the sorghum, bring that back over. Then we'll get the parsnip thing underway. Then we'll come back, we'll lease the swather. Um, I could just mow it like I did last time. I was very kind of, you know what, I'm going to mow it. Um... I might see if we can get permission to cut the grass here, just to help, you know, just to... Actually, potentially, I could cut the grass in the um, cow pasture as well, because since the farm was kind of cleared, it hasn't been sold on. But otherwise, it's just going to get overgrown and unkempt, isn't it? So, it's worth a try, you never know. Have a look inside. All right. I don't think the interior. I did like the interior on the Mac. I have to say, I'm not. I'm not knocking it as a, I love the mod itself. Anyway, yes, it's good done. This is pretty rapid as well. 83 miles an hour. Nice. I'm happy with this, I'm very happy with this. I do need to re-water all of my greenhouses because my greenhouses are uh, all starting to sort of run out. Oh, this reverse is a lot better as well. Cool. in the front tank, sorghum in the back and we'll take that over and get that put into the grain mill. Nice. I have to say, it's one thing I've enjoyed on here. I don't often go in for um, the flat bottom bins, these kind of things with augers. I tend to go for a more standard um, Oh, that's the thing I was going to say. You now I said I've made some changes. Um, what I have done is 
all, all the bales, the last baling contract I did, that should have popped up at the start for silage bales. I was left with, oh, how many bales was I left with? Quite a few silage bales. But as you can see, I've got none here because I hit the limit of bales when I was doing the baling contract. It said I needed to sell some. So I took some to complete the contract and then thought, you know what I should do, which will make life a little bit easier. I'll make a load of total mix ration, feed the cows, which I started to do. I've still got straw bales here. I've got a load of hay bales, but you notice as well, all the hay bales that were here have gone. Um, what I did, my... Um, hayloft silo the one that i did for the sheep that's full of alfalfa hay um what i decided to do was put bales into it so that has now got alfalfa hay regular hay regular straw and silage from all the silage bales and then what i spent a bit of time doing the reason why this trailer the the, the feed mix was here i spent a while making mixes of total mix ration and then putting them back into the silo so the silo now if you look bottom right i've got all the straw i took off that previous field as well as the straw bales that went in uh oh no i didn't put any straw bales in because i had straw in already um but hay 475 thousand litres alfalfa hay that i had in already that's for feeding the sheep silage 331 thousand litres that was from bales total mix ration i've made 264 thousand litres oh sugar beet in here as well I need to move the sugar beet, that's what I said, from here over into the silo. The other thing I did in the last bit of June 2 was I got another one of those, uh, at least another beet cutter and some of the sugar beet that was in here, because I'm not using the sugar beet, but sugar beet cut is going to the biogas plant. Um, so the sugar beet that was in here, I cut a load into sugar beet cut so that's now got more of that so what i'll do is i'll move the sugar beet from there put it into here um what else have i done i think that's it like i say because everything now is on direct selling so i wanted that parsnip harvest hopefully we have some parsnip left that will come into the soup factory then i have three soups on the go i'll have carrot parsnip and potato um all i need then is some um i don't think there's any there's no... Oh, we've got one little field there of red beet. Uh, when's that going to be ready? Oh, when did that happen? Oh, I didn't even get that come up. So I thought I could do the triple soup as well then. Potentially. Anyway, carry on. You know what I suddenly realised? Um, when I was looking at the contract stuff, um, the contract for parsnip, the one I've got, is for um, field 19. Hang on, come the wrong way. There we go. Um, and it's got, I've got to take it to the soup factory. So anything over and above the contract will automatically be in the soup factory anyway. So I haven't got to go to multiple locations. However, 
field 19 is across the other side it's over there so we've got to take our equipment now and run it well it doesn't matter now look at the way the um, railway kind of bifurcates these two sections i can go up across and down to it or i can go down across and up to it i think it might be a little bit quicker going up um, and i'm going to need the lorry up there that's why i brought it up here i for some reason i had it in my head i was going to this field here which obviously i'm not yet but i'm keeping my eye on these contracts for that one to come up um because i really want it to like i say got a canola harvest one that's coming to all in one production there's a sewing contract there more carrots I don't seem to get any, I haven't had many come up, like I say for red to beet, there hasn't been much red to beet stuff come up. So I'm going to take this over, I'm going to get the the, um, the parsnip harvester over there. We'll get started on that. Oh, that's the thing I was going to do, wasn't I? I was going to, um, let's just stop there a minute. Swather. For doing the alfalfa. Because I, I do want to swath it this time. I know the only downside of that is you can't set a work or anything like that, but. Uh, so we want mowage what are we going to go with this time case challenger heston massey let's go massey i'm thinking about buying another tractor actually because i've got three john deers so i might i was quite taken i'll be honest um what do i want we'll go for those that's more of a grass grasslandy type thing don't want a license plate on there um, I was quite taken by the McCormicks, you know, when I was at Lama, and we went around, and we saw loads of stuff, and then all the stuff was absolutely fantastic. But, um, I don't know, there was just something about, I don't know why, I, I, I the front end, as we came around the corner to the McCormick stand, it really stood out. I was hoping we'd get one second hand would pop up, but obviously we haven't, but, um, right, this one, now, we've had problems with these, haven't we? So that one will work. This is for swath ready maps. And that will do grass, which the alfalfa technically is. I had this problem last time. It should still do the alfalfa because technically it's a crop. Massive folks and We'll leave decal off. At least that. Okay. So at least that's good to go. We can get ready and swath that when we're ready. Well, it's quite expensive to do that. And that's the thing as well. I'm kind of thinking, I want to have a go at swathing. I know people said alfalfa, you know, it should be swathed. And I did, before the argument last time, that I watched a few different farmers. I know for a fact they call the corn star. And their alfalfa they cut with mowers. They don't use a, a swather. Um, I thought, you know what? No, a lot of people said, it, you know, that they they have it swathed where they are. So, but then when I've got my mowers and stuff sitting there already, that was six grand. Technically, not technically, that was six grand. I didn't need to spend, <laughs> but I will because I want to have a go with it. So. I'm assuming because it's going to work now after a while. And that is the only downside to this as well. What I've found on um, Edgewater and on here is that um, because you can't hire a worker with them, so they do take um, it takes a long time, especially if you're swathing crops. That was something I was going to check. Um, if you're getting one for doing crops, because I don't think it comes under. There's not one under headers, is there? I'm sure it's just under mowers. Could be wrong. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's open that up. Start it up. My first foray, other than testing, into past it. Which is pretty cool. Get some meeps. It's interesting, isn't it? I say it's interesting, it depends on where you live. Because meeps and tatties is often referred to as turnips and potatoes but then other people I know refer to parsnips as neeps so parsnips and potatoes is, I think it's um, as far as I'm aware it's um, turnips and potatoes but it could be parsnips anyway 
we're getting a bit nippy regardless this build shouldn't take too long but what I will do when we can get to a point we can get a worker going we'll get a worker going and then I can get on with the swapping of our alfalfa uh, I might do a test to see if I can, on the way past the farm if I can get permission um, see if I can get it to work on those fields because if it does I've got two silage clamps oh no actually no that's a point I wonder if I can mix the two. Did I try that before? Well, let me do alfalfa and normal grass. I suppose once it goes into the camp, it becomes chaff anyway. Um, I'm sure it let me mix it, didn't it, earlier on in the series? Off the top of the head. This is going to yield quite a lot. By the look of things. That's why I want that other big field. That'll keep my soup factory going forever. Well, not forever, but... A long time. Uh, I've had a few people asking me, how's Mr. City P doing? Um, worryingly, I would say about the same. Um, she's had a, a couple of good days. Um, I say when I say good days, I mean where she hasn't felt as bad. Um, I'm still indoors. I'm still recording my headset. Um, it is, it is um, harder to do because my PC's in the man cave I bought my Playstation in so thumbnails and stuff I'm going out there to do my thumbnails I'm doing all my recording indoors to make sure I'm in here with her so she needs stuff even down to making, like I've said this before making tea, so when I'm making her a cup of tea um, she was struggling to hold a handle so you know like you get your travel mugs so I've been making her tea in a travel mug because she can hold around it rather than trying to ha grab hold of the handle um, and the, she feels terrible because she said she's putting on me and it's just not fine of course I'm going to help her you know, why wouldn't I how long it will continue for I don't know um, she was signed off for a couple of weeks by the doctor but she, she said she might because she can work from home um, but obviously typing might be a bit of an issue I don't know anyway so yeah, about the same. We've had a couple of days where she came, uh, got up and said she was feeling a little bit better. Um, but then as it's transpired over the course of the day, she's sort of got a bit worse again. I don't know. I'm just dealing with it, you know? You, you just do it, didn't you? You just get on with it. Oh, that's almost full. I won't get another pass. So I'll unload into the... Um, unload into the trailer. Now, I did have a problem when I did the potato harvest that I had a couple of episodes ago um, I don't know what happened but I got halfway through the harvest and this stopped unloading it was a bit of a worry um, and then it was I had to I should have put the load to it really but it doesn't matter and I thought if I've got a full tray load and I have to reset it that's alright the site's going to unload that's good um, yeah if I have to reset it, I'll lose everything that's in it. So I was a little bit concerned, I'm not going to lie. Right, so, as you can imagine, I shall continue. to what I'll do, I'll do a run up this side, a couple of runs across the top. We'll try and work out the angles see what angle the worker will work at. Put him.
We are back to our farm. Good news, a double whammy of good news. In fact, one, you've already seen, um, using or going on to the Missouri account, accessing the other farm, it allowed me to mow. I did have the wrong header. Um, even though this is alfalfa and a crop, it still counts as a grass, so the, um, the swathing crop header wouldn't work. So I had to go back and get um, a mowing one, which is fine. But in other news, field 24, the parsnip harvest came up 108,178. It's going to take some time. I know my, my big root crop harvester, I went for the 60,000 litre tank, not the crazy. I mean, that normally those those normally do 45, is it? Like, so 60 is not a big stretch. I've just got some extensions on it. But um, I haven't gone like 500,000 litre or a million litre capacity, anything like that. It's still going to take a while. <laughs> no doubt. That one I will do off camera. Um, we have got a harvesting contract down here for sorghum, um, but I've got three contracts now sitting there, one on the go, we're working our way through. But, oh, how have we got a full tank already? I've literally just got over here. So I will be able to swap this. And, um, so I will be able to, I am swapping this. And then what I will do again off camera, I'll probably go and do the other farm. It looks like they're in the process of demolishing. Um, the cow barn is down. Um, they look, I assume it's just going to start removing stuff. I don't know if they're going to rebuild. Um, if there's anything like the UK, they'll, they'll demolish something really lovely, old, and you know, obviously it's a listed building you can't, but they'll demolish something really, really nice and put a housing estate on it or something. <laughs> That's what normally happens. Um, so yeah, it looks like they're in the process of, of taking stuff down. I don't know if the farmhouse will stay, but we shall see. I mean, potentially, they did. I wonder if we could buy the land. Probably a bit more expensive. It's too expensive for me to buy at the moment. But if we're going to do a $108,000 uh, contract for parsnips, our soup factory, and both of those contracts are to the soup factory, so anything left over will come to the soup factory which we'll get and parsnip soup will be produced as well so our daily income is going to increase as well I'm probably going to leave the biogas plant a couple of days each time before I go and do a methane run otherwise I'm kind of backwards and forwards see how that goes but um, this is quite a big header actually I say it's just a pity I mean unless that's been I don't know this is the problem. So many, I'm going to say again, there are so many mods. So many mods. So I've done so many mod reviews. I've done so many map tours. Not just on FS22. 17, 19, 22. Um, and then mods you do reviews on sometimes get updates. And you kind of look at the change log. And if it's something major, I might go back. I don't often go back and go over updates. Um, and... Uh, then you get that situation where a mod gets an update and you kind of read it oh yeah yeah but then go you know, two months three months don't use the mod for anything in particular and you forget about the update you think oh yeah i'll use the swather i'll use it so i don't i'm assuming you still can't hire a worker to use this could be wrong but i'll swap this i've got my other bit just over the other side of the farm in front of the cow barn i'll get that swapped as well whether i'll get to collecting any of it um, in this episode, um, I might just lease um, a forage wagon because I have used the um, forage lizard forage pickup a lot. I could use that on a tractor with a regular trailer behind me, which in essence, with everything, when we've done the straw collecting, it just turns a regular trailer into a forage trailer, really. A forage wagon. Um, you're just putting the pickup on front of the tractor instead of being attached to the trailer. So. I might lease uh, just a forage trailer, potentially. Would, it would make more sense, I think. But I do need to go over that field. Um, otherwise, the worker I'm being charged, the worker's just sat there in the vehicle with the engine ticking over while I'm doing this. So uh, I'll do one round. What we'll try and do before the end of the episode, I'll try and get that parsnip harvest done, at least on that field. And we'll know if we've got any spare left over in the soup factory and we can get some parsnip soup on the way. 
and I'll get this build done at least swathed and we'll try and get um, a forage wagon out and at least start getting some into one of the silos I'm even considering now whether or not to um, to empty out the other silage clamp just past the soup factory in front of us now store that in the silo there with all the rest of the silage and then I can take it over to the biogas plant when I need to and then I've got two clamps spare I could have one for alfalfa and one for the grass off the other farm maybe I don't know um, not sure then. just looking at the different are different colours it might just be the shadow See, I'm doing it proper. I'm swapping out alpha, like everyone said I should. I mean, to be fair, like I said, the head is quite wide. So whether I use my mowers that I've already got or use this, like I said earlier, the only downside being I just have to pay six grand to lease this stuff when I've already got mowers in my shed. So, you know, for the sake of what people wanted to see, if you just send me six grand in the post, that'd be awesome. I was only saying a few minutes ago about the uh, swather, whether or not you could hire a worker. But it's working for grass. I don't know if the other header will work for doing crop. And again, whether that was an update, part of an update, I must have missed it. I don't know. Um, I tried it and it worked. So here's where we're at. It's swathing our alfalfa field. I'll need to fertilise this, but we've got plenty of fertiliser. So I've leased a forage wagon. This is one of the Omitana ones. It's only 50,000. Again, it's not... I'm, I'm gone crazy. I haven't done a 200,000 or anything like that. I put some silage additive in. I bought another barrel of silage additive. Realised I had part of a barrel or drum sat in the um, barn here. I had part of a barrel sat at the store, just outside the store. Um, so, yeah genius <laughs> are we going the same problem as had before yeah oh, this is going to annoy me someone said what they've, just, what they've done on their fields they've put a board around the outside because this looked like I was right on the field and it, what it's doing it's registering alfalfa and grass It'll put some in, then it'll switch it. Yeah, so that's just gone back to three. So I should have about four or five thousand litres in now. And I'll go again now. What am I up to? One thousand. That's saying alfalfa. It'll hit a bit of grass and it'll reset. Oh, this is ridiculous. So I don't know what to do now. So I'm going to go. Oh, this happened the last time, didn't it? And I thought when I was cutting, it didn't seem to be. So what I've got to do now, I'm going to lose part of the edge of my field. It's going to cost me money as well. I need to go around. So all the people that commented and said this last time, I should have done it and I didn't. It's my own fault. Um, I need to go around the edge of the field and do that. All the way around the outside. It's going to take me absolutely ages because the field's quite big. Um, and that's as close as I can get. So that the grass won't grow doesn't help me now um, but I should I mean the end of the day I'm gonna lose what's around the outside which is really frustrating 
a little bit off of here but what will happen hopefully is um i'll take that a bit wider actually make sure i've got a proper boundary um because i should be able to get the grass off of the other farm anything i lose on this first run round, i'll make up on that i think it's just annoying isn't it i should have done this I'm annoyed at myself and the situation. Anyway, I'll carry on doing this. What I'll do first of all then, I might as well just get this first load done. It's just going to be an absolute waste. <sighs> what a waste. Yeah. That was alfalfa grass, alfalfa grass, alfalfa grass, and just bounces back and forwards and not getting anywhere. Oh well, I'll know for next time. And now it's decided it's not going to pick anything up. So I'll take it that's just tripped out, is it? Right. Maybe I've reached a threshold now where it won't bounce back. So we'll only take the alfalfa. It just needs to get more than a certain amount in there so it wouldn't reset itself. Okay, that's not as bad then. I will still come around and do all this edge though. And our swath worker doing a cracking job. All is not lost. He says, until it resets to zero when I'm at 20,000 metres. Yeah, that's red seen grass, not alfalfa. Otherwise it will be picking it up. Or it's going to be a mixture of both. There you go, it's picking up little bits here and there. Quite frustrating. So once I've emptied this, if I go around this outside one again, it should just then pick up the grass that's in it. <laughs> oh, dearie me. What a palaver. What was that grass? Yeah, I caught the edge. You can just see it. It's weird how some of it's okay and some of it's not. I don't know why. Anywho. I've done the same thing on the. I don't know actually, because I'm using it's a different silo. Those front bits that I used on the silo over there, I've put on this one as well. So these little drain things with the front edge that's supposed to stop stuff spilling out, I've put them on this one. This silo is not from the same pack. So this is going to be a test as well to see whether or not that ledge will stop. I don't know. We'll, stop. we'll find out when I guess. doesn't matter when I start from but if I start from here and unload so let's see if it, it shouldn't spill out it shouldn't go past that well that didn't go very far did it and onwards So that's going to do grass now. It's going to switch back to alfalfa at some point. Oh, no. no. It's just going to do the grass now. So if I go around now and pick up the grass... <laughs> nope, switched it back again. Oh! Right, it's 9.48. <laughs> I'm plagued with problems today. Some of my own doing, of course. Um, I have now gone round both fields and edged, which didn't help much for this one. I mean, to a degree. I've edged the other one before I've started doing the alfalfa. 
Um, so far in here, we've got 160, 1,380 litres. Turn that off. And here's my next problem. <laughs> it's so frustrating, it's ridiculous. Um, if we go to our contracts uh, here, you will see that Harvesting Field 19, 83% complete. Um, <laughs> the field's cleared. It's done. I bought all the parsnip over. Awesome. But didn't complete the contract. Because Field 24 is the same sell point. So what it's done is everything I delivered, brought over from Field 19, has gone into the soup factory and it's gone towards Field 24. Field 24 is saying 22% delivered. Only 6% of the contract complete because I haven't even started on that field yet. So until I do, let's go up here. So you should be able to see if we go to that. Field 19 is done. I've taken the harvester over. I've gone from here. I came down the side of this field. Uh, from there, I've done this strip to there, and the harvester is full. So until I complete field 24, and all the beet is delivered, once all the beet is delivered to our soup factory, it will complete on field 24, it should then complete on field 19, and then I should find out how much I've got left over. But field 24, it's going to take me some time. So I've got all my alfalfa to collect. I have been going around doing the grass as well. So I've been doing the grass separately, the alfalfa separately. So what I'm going to do now is continue over here with my alfalfa. I've taken the swatha over. Um, so next episode, <laughs> I've got some work to do between now and then. We should know what we ended up with in the soup factory as far as parsnip goes. And we can set some soup off and running, which I thought about doing this episode, but not the case. Um, we should have this all cut and into the silage clamp and potentially the stuff on the other farm over there, maybe, if it allows me to and if it allows me to pick it up. Um, so we'll see how much silage, well, it'll be chaff, but it'll be fermenting to silage. That will need to be compacted and stuff before I move forward. But um, what we'll do now then is crack on with doing this. Like so. Kind of. So you can see I've put my edge round. So now I shouldn't be cutting any grass. It should be all alfalfa. So I shouldn't have that same problem. And I shouldn't have that problem moving forward. Um, it's, it's, again, it's a, it's a top tip. It's a top tip that a few people sent me and said, oh, this is what I've done on mine. And I read it and went, oh, that's a good idea, and didn't do it. Um, so my advice would be, if you're using the swathing stuff, it's not a bad idea. I mean, I could have just done it with the grass texture and then not put the grass plant down. But I thought having a little gravel thing, at least I can see it easier when I'm going around. I know where my edge is. I know where to avoid. And I shouldn't then cut any grass anywhere else. It will just be the alfalfa. That, at least, is the plan. <laughs> so, on that bombshell... Oh, I've got a lot of work to do now. It's all good. Audio book. Away we go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>